what Williams was looking for was gas. Active volcanoes can produce thousands of tons of it, mainly sulfur dioxide. Scientists know these gases come directly from the magma. Gases are the driving force behind all volcanic eruptions, whether they're lava flows, fire fountaining, and, it, and developing an understanding about gases um, was sort of the key to sort of understanding volcanoes and perhaps even developing an ability to predict volcanic eruptions. Gas scientists knew that as magma moves up the volcano, so it releases more and more gas, which escapes through holes on the surface, called fumaroles. What we're looking at now is called a fumarole. As you can see, it's a fairly hostile environment. As the volcano starts to heat up and magma comes closer to the surface, we're going to get a component of gas coming out of here, which is coming from the magma. It's going to have increased sulfur dioxide, increased HCl. The temperature is going to go up here. And all over here, we're going to start to see a whole lot more gas come out. It's not an easy place to work. The theory was that if they could measure the amount of gas being produced, then scientists would have an idea of how close the magma was to the top of the volcano and to an eruption. 